Today I've got my friend Kirsten here with me. She is German and we're going to be making a Zwetschgenkuchen, which is quintessentially German. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. And I've never heard of it before, so I'm excited to make that with Kirsten today. Ella, who are we about to go pick up? Kirsten! And have you met Kirsten before? No. But you're excited anyway, aren't you? And I don't know what she looks like. I know, we get to meet her for the first time. It's them! It's her! Is it, is, it this, is it her? Is it that train? And is today a very special day also? For two, another reason? Why? It's my birthday! Yay! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but it's not a box. Hey, oh, it's really dark. Ooh, be careful, Ella. I just saw what it is. Oh my god, a Reuter mention! <laughs> is that mommy? It, it, it is. It's smoking, so Danielle. Romantic. <laughs> it's so romantic. Kirsten and I are about to have breakfast, and we've been doing this every morning. Add a bit of whipping cream because. That's perfection together. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. So hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah, but where's Kevin? <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> I'm replacing Kevin today. I'm Kirsten from Germany. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> your names both start with K. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I was going to say, because you're a family of six, Mm -hmm. So you have four children and a cat and a hamster. That's and right. I'm the third pet now. <laughs> the German. A cat and a hamster and a German friend. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So, so for those of you who don't know Kirsten, she is also a YouTuber. And she and her husband, Jörg, they are from Germany, but they now live in the UK. And they have a... YouTube channel that is absolutely beautiful. You must go see it if you haven't already. They show you all of these beautiful villages and towns and places that you must see in England. In fact, if we have any English followers, please don't get mad at me, but I never knew how beautiful England was until I saw Kirsten's channel. Ah, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely beautiful. I loved Kirsten's channel and then I saw that she is from Germany and I thought, Oh, I'm just going to reach out to her on Instagram. I can't remember what it was I first said to you. I can't believe you even replied. <laughs> Who is this weirdo? <laughs> I, and I, I it's think, the same with me. Like, your channel was suggested, and I thought, who is this gorgeous lady with the gorgeous curls <laughs> and the wonderful videos moving to Germany with all her family? I thought it to be so brave. Honestly, oh. um, yeah, and then I just fell in love with the whole family, and they are amazing. <laughs> yeah, Kirsten's even better in person than she is on YouTube. You better are as well. <laughs> I mean, she's great on YouTube, but better in person. Um, yeah, so I reached out to her, and we've been talking on Instagram and in the messages for like a year, yes. maybe more than a year. Yeah, and then she was in the country visiting her family, and said, "Hey, can I come down and see you?" <laughs> it was sehr spontan. Yes. Sometimes you need to be spontaneous. I think mm. it's not even a German trait. Oh, it's not. I think some Germans are like, I want to have coffee with you, but can we do it in four weeks? And <laughs> That's too it long. will never happen. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's good to be spontaneous. So, yeah. Kirsten showed up and today happens to be my birthday. Yes. So, we are going to make Happy this birthday. Thank, Thank you. you. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> I don't believe it. I know. Are you real? Like when I first, when, when Kirsten first got off the train, my brain was doing weird tricks on me because I'd only ever seen her flat on a screen. And so I was like, you're 3D. I can, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You're not on a screen anymore. It's so. incredible to meet. And yeah, mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're going to make a... Zwetschgenkuchen. Okay. You have to say it, please. Try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't don't get mad at me. I'm not going to say it perfect. Zwetschgenkuchen. Yes, that's good. That's say it really... again. Yeah. Zwetschgenkuchen. I think oh, that there's a G. Zwetschgen. Zwetschgen. Zwetschgenkuchen. Zwetschgenkuchen. That's absolutely perfect. 
that's so it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. It's the Z. We us English speakers have trouble with the German Z. That the T S the Z the Z. I see. <laughs> and then I think the G in between. Zwetschgenkuchen. Uh-huh. It's not Zwetschgenkuchen. Yeah. If I think about it too much, it gets, yeah, it gets worse. No, but that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. <laughs> well done. And if you speak any German, you would know that Kuchen is going to be a cake. It's going to be a sweet treat, and that's what we're making today. Yes. I had never heard of this before, and when Kirsten said she was coming to visit, I said, "Oh, well, could we make something together that's very typical Deutsch?" Typisch, wait, did you say typisch? Typisch Deutsch. Typisch Deutsch. Typisch Deutsch, yeah. Typisch Deutsch. Typisch Deutsch. Yes, yeah. And she said, well, I know exactly what to make. And she said the, uh-oh. Yeah. Zwetschgen. Yeah. Zwetschgenkuchen. Zwetschgenkuchen. Because it's, um, it's quite easy to make and everyone loves it. Okay. Yeah. It's just a very nice treat. Okay, and I've never eaten it, never seen it. So Kirsten's going to teach me today how to make it, and we'll take you along. Fingers crossed I won't fail because it's on camera. You never know what happens. <laughs> yeah, we are not professional bakers. No. This is not a conditorai channel. I'm not, no. <laughs> so please don't, don't be too critical because... No, as long as it tastes good. Yeah, as long as it tastes good. Who cares what it looks like? <laughs> well, it shouldn't well, be too ugly, right? <laughs> It shouldn't be too. Let's hope that. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Let's let's do it. Los geht's. Los geht's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so was machen wir zuerst, Kirsten? Jetzt machen wir zuerst den Teig, denn das ist mit das, ja, das braucht am meisten Zeit. Okay, so we're going to make the Teig, which in English we were thinking that's like maybe dough or batter. Mm-hmm. Probably batter. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And yeah. then what was the second part? Because it takes up most of your time to do it because it needs some resting time. So, All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah. let's do the tyke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You need 500 grams of Weizenmehl. Flour. Yes. <laughs> Say Weizenmehl. Weizenmehl. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. 500 gram. Yes. <laughs> Of course, we need sugar, but the good thing is it doesn't have a lot of sugar. No, it doesn't. A yeah. very small amount. Yeah, that, that's really good. Yes. And I think, I mean, it's not a healthy snack because it's still cake, but I would say mm-hmm. it's healthy. That's right. It's better. Yeah, because it has fruit. Than a tort or something. Exactly. It mm-hmm. has fruit. Yeah. So we're cheating and say it's very healthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I mean, and that's a big difference between the U.S. and Germany, and I've talked about that in some of my other videos, is that there's way more sugar in absolutely everything in the U.S. than there is yeah. in Germany. And it's so nice to go to a konditorai or a, a bakkerai and get a sweet treat, and then you eat it as an American. It tastes half sweet. Does that come as a shock and you mm-hmm. say, it's not sweet enough for me? Well, no, I like it less sweet. Yeah. So I liked it when we moved here. So basically, you eat the cake here in Germany mm-hmm. and then think, you know, I don't need that much sugar. So that's a yes, good thing. it changes your taste buds and now you get used to eating less sugar. That's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, it is good. So what do we need next, Kirsten? Als nächstes brauchen wir frische Hefe. Okay. It looks like this. Yeah, so that's fresh yeast and i don't know usually i use dry yeast i've never used fresh yeast before so this is cool to be honest with you i mean i think you can probably use dry yeast Mm -hmm. a lot of people in germany do but i think the cake tastes a little bit better i don't know correct me if i'm wrong if you use fresh yeast cool and i really like the packaging omas urhefe very traditional and we have the very same in saarland so it's a brand that's available everywhere it's so cute i like anything with a german grandma on it yeah it's got to be good if there's a german I, oma on it i, I know <laughs> i agree <laughs> okay so next we've got the yeast and you need to smell oh that smells weird <laughs> Ow. i think you can't even describe it can you no it doesn't 
Like it doesn't smell like beer. In a way, it smells a little bit like beer. But yeah. Yeah. A but it's sort of bit. sour beer. <laughs> but I think good. it's very, very good in cake. So. Yeah. And so you said you were you have to roll it around in your hands and crumble it out? Yes. Yes, exactly. Hefe hineinbrücken. <laughs> yeah. If I saw that, I would have no idea what it means. Hefe hineinbrücken. Brücken. Yeah, brücken. It's not yeah. easy, is it? No. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> German is a, it's a hard, it's hard to learn. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. I can imagine. <laughs> you need 250 milliliters of milk, milch in Deutsch. And 80 grams of butter, butter. Was noch? Jetzt müssen wir die Milch erwärmen zusammen mit der Butter. Ooh. So, warm up, we must the warm milk. up the milk. Yes. With the butter. Exactly. Anything with milk and butter and sugar and flour has got to be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the butter has melted and you can now turn off the heat so that your milk doesn't burn. Okay, 90 grams of sugar. So as I said, or as we said earlier, that's not a huge amount. And that's really good about this cake. And I just can't help it because I have such a weakness for pottery and all things China. And I noticed this, it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, I got it from Italy. There's a website called that'sarte.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can get handmade Italian pottery. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. 500 grams of flour. Also, ganz reguläres Weizenmehl. Bei 116. So now we need... 175? Okay. Yeah. Ich muss ja auch noch rechnen. Oh Gott. <laughs> Where's my calculator? <laughs> Help. Okay, now that we have the flour, just add the sugar and a pinch of salt. Now I'm adding the milk butter mixture. Looking good. <laughs> then the egg. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Good. So Kirsten was asking me, where's your kusha machine? <laughs> right? But yeah. we weren't sure all the different words in the two languages. Neither one of us could remember it. But this, what are these called? Knetagen. Knetagen. Yes. So they're dough hooks in English. Yes. So you need a, what is it in English? Oh, yeah. Hand mixer. Yeah. With dough hooks mm -hmm. to do the dough. But in yeah. Kirsten's family... I don't you, think it's just in our family. I think you don't necessarily need this. Just wash your hands and use your hands and you will, you will be fine. Sorry. It's totally fine. Uh -huh. You okay. don't really need a machine. So you can use your hands or a hand mixer. Exactly, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the dough. See, it's getting more difficult. Sure is, yeah. And this is why we're using hands. Yes. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, let me wash my hands because it gets too difficult with a machine. It's so much easier and I think everybody does it. Oh, okay. Yeah. We learned it like that from from our grandmas. Oh, okay. You know. Could you add a tiny bit of flour 
See, yeah. it's too sticky. It needs a tiny bit of flour. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Okay. See? Yep. It's so sticky. Here. So sticky. Why does this need so much? Hmm. Maybe the humidity. I don't know. No. Yeah. So, as you can see, this is totally fine now. And this needs to rest for about 30 minutes and then we can do the rest. Okay. Mm. You like it already? Uh -huh. So Kirsten and I were just talking off camera about eggs in the USA versus the EU. Well, my mom used to bake a cake every Saturday and it was the highlight of the day, to be honest. Oh, you, the whole good house, memories. The whole house smelled of cake. So mm. when she when she made the dough or batter, and she always left a little bit for me mm -hmm. to, to try. So there were raw eggs in the batter, mm -hmm. but I loved it so much. And it was fine. Mm -hmm. I do it until this day. I just yeah. need to try it. I love it. Me too. You do it as well. Yes, I love yeah. it. Who doesn't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the issue like doing that? Yeah. So if you do that, especially on YouTube, Americans will come and say, don't do that. You're going to get salmonella and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. But in the U.S., the eggs are washed before mm -hmm. they get sold in the store. They come from the farmer. They're washed in a chlorine bath and then put in the supermarkets. Right. So the chlorine bath removes the outer protective coating. Yeah. So they have to be refrigerated. I see. So they're more prone to getting bacteria inside of them. Okay. Eggs in the EU aren't washed with this chlorine bath, so it seems like the eggs stay safer because of it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a scientist or anything, but... Nothing ever happened to me when I was a child, and I've been doing it since I was little. So Nothing ever happened to me either in the U.S. Doing yeah. It. It's just, yeah. I don't think it's very common, yeah. Probably not, yeah. But, okay. Yeah, but also oh, that's interesting. Germans and, and Europeans, would you say you don't eat batter with the egg in it? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Yes. Yeah. And this is what the dough looks like after 30 minutes. Okay, I'm using a very big tin because we have a lot of dough and also baking paper because it's, I think, a little bit easier to use. I'm just using my hands and work with the dough and then we can add the plums. Svetchkin. Okay, this is what it looks like and we can finally add the plums and put everything in the oven and it will smell delicious. So I started applying or put the plums on the cake base and what I basically need to do is I need to remove the seed and then cut the plums but I will show you how I do it. Okay, I remove the seed and of course you have to wash the plums before. That goes without saying and then I take them and just cut them in the middle because then they lie more flat when you bake them. Okay, this is what the cake looks like before it goes into the oven. And it's actually not too bad. There's not too much sugar in it, but I will leave the recipe down below for you in the info box. And the only thing it needs before it goes into the oven is, so this is a mixture of sugar and cinnamon, and this goes on top of the cake. And this is the cake done after 35 minutes in the oven and it looks quite nice. So, weiter in Deutsch.
denn Sarah spricht ja Englisch. <lacht> okay. So, dann nehme ich diese Mischung und mache ein bisschen über die Zwetschgen. Das macht alles ein bisschen süßer. Ja, yes, so we're making it sweeter by yeah. pouring the mixture mm -hmm. over the plums. So it's a cinnamon sugar yeah. mixture. Yes. So. Did I get it right? <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking whipping cream because you have to enjoy Zwetschgenkuchen with whipping cream and some Sahnesteif because that's what you do in Germany, don't you? So is this good. All right, Grayson, you ready to try it? Yeah. Now, Kirsten has decided not to have any because she eats gluten-free. Yeah, and we Which made this one like um, with regular flour because it's easier to work with. You never know with gluten-free flour, so. Yeah, so I'm sorry. She literally spent most of the day helping me learn how to make this and film it. It's fine. And then we had to leave in the middle of it to take the kids to where? I forgot. The Don Dentist, yeah. Oh, yes, in English. So I forgot that. You forgot the word in English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we had to leave for two hours to go to the dentist and come back. So Kirsten is a good friend. She made, <laughs> made this all day. That's <laughs> totally that's fine. fine. That's and now fine. she can't eat it. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> in case you guys don't remember, this is our second son, Grayson. Hi. <laughs> We're going to try it together. All right, ready? Yeah. I've never had this before. You need it with um, oh, yeah. a bit of whipping cream. Well, well, some don't like it, so. And it's whipping cream mm -hmm. without sugar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you usually put sugar in it? Oh, in the US all the time. Oh. They put lots of sugar in it and it's very I sweet. Didn't know. Okay, this is really good. Is it really? Yeah. yeah you it's don't good. have I like to it. Say <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not very sweet. The sweetness comes from the plums. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. Yeah. Mm hmm. And this is the perfect treat after a dentist. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> this is what you should have. I mean, your teeth were fine, so you can have it. Well, they fine. literally only looked at them for like 15 seconds. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Okay, time for me to try Zanin. Very nice. All right. I love fruit, fruit pastries, so I think this is going to be really good. Yeah, it's great. I like um, the fruit's very prominent, so I love the fruit, so that's good. Mm, it's very nice. Please ignore all the background noise. It's Nachtisch, so I mean, it's after dinner. All the kids are running around after dinner. Yeah, the kitchen's a mess because... It's all right. It resulted in very tasty stuff, so that's all that matters. Yes. Okay. So, vielen Dank, Kirsten. You're very <laughs> welcome for introducing us to this typisch, typisch Deutsch, typisch Deutsch uh, mm -hmm. Essen. Yeah. yeah. Or Susi Kaiden, uh, no, Nachtisch, Nachtisch. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you check out Kirsten and Jörg's channel. Kanal it is Kirsten and Jörg, and I will have the link for their channel down below. So yeah, thank you for being here with us today. See you again. And thanks for trying this out with us, Grayson. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, juice, juice. So I can just say, <coughs> Kevin and I are a family of six with four kids. And what is it, Kirsten? A cat and a hamster. And, and now it's me, the third pet. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute.
going to do exactly that. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Are we in a... Oh my god, that was... <laughs> You will not see that on YouTube. Do you want to say that you will link the recipe? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Kirsten's hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dirty dunk. <laughs> this is not going on YouTube, don't worry. Hallo alle ihr haters. <laughs> Yes, I know. This is why it takes five hours. I know. That's so I have to say. So Kirsten and I were just talking off camera. Hang on. Can you do it again? I was like. <laughs> I always like sometimes I have lip stains on my teeth. Mm -hmm. Like me too. You have to go like this. <laughs> yeah. I want to be a man. Oh, yeah. And then have it easier for sure. Of course. So Hier habe ich eine Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> When you speak in two languages, they all get yeah, muddled yeah. together. Hey, mom, watch this. Oh, so Yes, I see that. <laughs> Stay frosty. You know, it's strange when you always expect it.